Are you a South African musician trying to figure out how and where to register your music? Welcome to this episode where I plan on demystifying just that. Now, to be clear, the three organizations that you want to register your music with are Samro, Capasso, and Sampra. And then optionally, you can use a service called a Song Trust, which will register all your songs all over the world with similar organizations in different countries. But in this one, I'm just gonna focus on the first three that I've just mentioned. You also have to already be registered with these CMOs, that's what they call collectively, they call collective management organizations. You have to be already registered with them. You can find the relevant tutorials in the description below, or you can go through the playlists that I have for these organizations. So the best way to show you this is a step-by-step -step way. I'm gonna head over to my PC and show you how to register these songs with one of my singles that are coming up in the next month. What's up? So the very first thing that you want to do is head over to the Samro portal, portal.samro.org.za. And I'm going to do Samro first. I'll do Sampra next and I'll do Capasso last. So you put in your relation number and then you sign in. You have to be a Samro member already, as mentioned before, to be able to do this step. So let me just sign in. And then where it says my music, click on there and say on the left hand side, new notification. And then I'm going to do a step by step with one of my songs. So you kind of can follow through along. So registration type is automatically set at CTB assignment music. So typically I tell people to leave it as no assignment music, but you can also go commercial or tune or, or jingle. But preferably keep it as no assignment particularly if your music is going to be available on spotify etc so the title of the work that i'm releasing is one for me okay and then here in the duration it's two minutes uh 50 seconds 50 seconds so you can actually type it in um 53 or 52 but i don't know i tend to do that and then subtitle you can leave that empty that's if you have another name for it um i was gonna use another one but leave it one for me for now and then music work consists of so music if it's just an instrumental music and text if it's a song with lyrics on top text if it's just lyrics so this is music and text genre is a popular or serious so it's popular as in commercial music or yeah popular music yeah and then over here what kind of genre now when you go through these genres some of the genres that you make may not be in here so you choose something that's very similar so mine is somewhat of a dance type track but it's not actually a dance track but that's the closest genre i can get so i put in dance in there and then title of the performing artist it's skill music sa and that's your rap a alias or singer songwriter alias your aka okay next and then you put in the role so the very first person is myself there's only me in this one i'm the composer and the author ones that you probably use if you the composer the one that made the instrumental slash beat then you'd be composer and author if you wrote the lyrics so in this case it's composer slash author for me and i own 100 percent of it and then you click add to notification now if there was another person in here you'd click on one of these options so the neutral person or search for the ipa ipi if you know the person is registered with samro you can use the search ipi but or you can add them manually as a natural person i've done a tutorial on this section before so i'm not going to go into detail now and show you how to do that so for now move on to the next step generally i leave the add instruments and instrumentation out i go next and then summary. So the notification of work is almost finished. As you can see, we got all the details here. Make sure everything is correct. And then once that is correct, you click on next step. And then one for me is on there. If I wanted to register another song, I'll add another title and register it. But for this purposes, I don't have to. So I click on indicate the terms and conditions. You might want to read those if you're not too familiar with the terms and conditions. But then you click on submit successfully su submission successful so now once this is done this is all you actually have to do with regards to notifying samurai you can move on to the next cmo so click on okay 
and then you'll get your registration number creation id will come later on you don't need it for anything really so once you've done this process you can move on to the next cmo okay now that we on sampra's website sampra.org.za under membership click on where it says notification of tracks and then this pops up please don't forget to notify us tracks that you have informed even if those tracks came out in the other person's name so it's clear even if someone else releases a song you should be doing a notification of works so if you don't notify us of tracks we will not be able to pay you royalties etc you can give us track via track information via the app or via this online form so i'm going to click on where it says online form notification or recorded artists so then you start filling in so um, i'm going to fill in my surname my first name my artist name is skill music skill music yes a i'll put in my passport and id number afterwards but you can do that normally put in your contact number 579602 and then put in your email address and then put in your address um this is not actually my address um i'll put in my residential address afterwards so i don't get random people coming up to my place okay and then you click on continue okay once you've clicked on next it gives you a brief example of what are the potential performer roles and what are the codes that you have to use now if you're a featured artist you made the main artist of the song the individual where the song is released recorded and you appear in the title so for my track one for me i am the featured artist other featured performer is artists that have collaborated or featured on they also usually are put in here so it's a lead vocalist or instrumentalist that's not exclusively contracted okay so sometimes you want to put in uh, the person who made the instrument in the instrumental in here because you can clearly hear that he's featured but he's not actually the main artist i don't know if that makes sense so if it's someone featuring if you explicitly say that they are featured artist then you put them in if it's the producer you put them in this field and then non-featured artists this includes sound engineers people that are contracted that um won't appear in the title so like if you got a guitarist to play something in the instrument then you put them in if you got a studio producer now a studio producer is someone who who made an audible change or an audible change so um like someone who played the instruments someone who is there telling you do it like this do it like this no don't do it like this or the sound engineer you can hear that they made a difference to the song but you won't explicitly see their credits on um, easily on the back of wherever you're registering so i'm going to move on say continue if a is the one i want to remember now the performing artist name is skill music s a music s a name of the single is one for me cd number is zero one isrc code i already got that written out already uh, year of release 2022 record label skill media me media sa and then distributing rec like here for distributing distributing company record company i tend to put self distributed you, if you're not planning on ever having cds physical copy then you can put in something like distro kid distro kid is the digital distributor i use i'll leave an affiliate link in the description below but generally i just put self-distributed because i am the one distributing this one um so then you go on continue and then you put in the name of performer this is your id name so let me put my name there um, the track number and then one for me okay so the track number is the only one because it's a single and one for me is the name of the song and then right at the end is the role if a is the featured artist so how do you remember look at the top it's f a o f and n f are the actual roles so that's it for this one song click on continue and this this is the declaration 
um, over here there's a blank space so you can actually sign here um, I'll sign afterwards um, and then you click on confirm signature and submit form and then that's it notification done for Sam now we move on to Capasso um, capasso.co.za right on the right hand side sign in and you have to be a member obviously with them too um, I've shown how to create a port uh, an account with Capasso before and then you simply log in okay so now this automatically starts off at the notification of works um, they've slightly changed this a little so I'm going to just show you again where it says music works click on um where it says music works go click on music works again and then you'll have a list of all the notified works right at the top add musical work and then it says search and select the work you want to notify if it already exists on our system so they're trying to prevent people from double booking or double notifying songs so the song i'm registering is one for me And it takes some time so it goes to the system to look for one for me and it says no similar works found proceed to create new notification of work then you click on proceed okay and now you start filling in so the title of the song is one for one for me one for me iscwc you can leave this out you typically get this from samro so leave this out because it's very difficult to get it um, and there's no star, so you can carry on without it. Version type, this is an original work. Okay, musical type. Now you can choose from several different media type. I generally say use general use if you're not too sure what it's going to be used for. The others are particularly for other people. Um, if you have a radio version, then obviously you click on radio version. If you have a television version, you click on that. But most of the time, general use will cover most usages. So this is the safe one. Okay. Transaction type, musical work add, leave it as is. Type of write, you can put in mechanical write. Okay. Just for clarity's sake, you've already assigned your performance right, performing right already with sam row so the mechanical right is just for capasso this will do with streaming in particular and then category domestic or international i like leaving it as domestic because if i see the song is getting traction i use song trust and song trust collects it from abroad beforehand so leave it as local but um if you want to put it as international make sure you also do another notification of work for the local one so keep it as local if most of your streams and traction is in South Africa. Lyric adaption, um, say new, because it's a new lyric ad adaption. Music arrangement, I also say new, because everything is new, okay? Library, production music only. Don't put anything here for library. This is if you've got, um, if you a music library for TV and film, okay? And now let's start adding writers. So you click on the down on the drop down arrow to search for your name. Um, so there's a no IPI. That probably means someone has used has used uh, has notified a work with my name. I'll probably check that afterwards, but you should be if you've registered before a direct writer This could also be when they started off the system and they um, Imported from their system beforehand, but for purposes For my purposes and your purposes try use the one that says direct writer Okay, and then for the role it shows you several roles. If you are the person who wrote the lyrics, you're the lyricist. If you're the beat maker, you're the composer. But in this case, I'm the composer and the lyricist. So I put that up. And then copyright share is 100%. 100% for mechanical royalties, performance royalty share 100%. Okay. Obviously, if you have another person, you adapt it accordingly. Original publisher. I don't have a publisher for this specific release, so I leave that out. 
administrator sometimes if you are using a publishing administrator like cobalt or song trust in my case you can look for song trust in here and then song trust za is in there already but i'm not for now i'm not going to use one so i'm going to leave it out and then right at the bottom it says add another writer you can click on add another writer if there's another person particularly a beat maker but then make sure you adapt the percentage share accordingly now for the recording side of things the name of the recording is one for me version title leave it or um, you can put in the same title if you have another version you can say version one for me explicit for example or radio version etc but both versions have the same name in my case so i just put in one for me the irsrc code is the one i you should have a sheet already set up or if you're using the reset portal you can get your irsrc code from there the language whatever language is available and then two minutes 50 this is the re the duration release date i'm going to be releasing this next month on the 21st so that is usually try notify before you release um it's just good practice you know and then performing artist skill music say if you don't have one click on add another if you want to add another one in there record label i usually leave this out um but yeah because i haven't registered skill music skill media with capasso so leave that out and then alternative titles that's if you have another title most people don't have that so leave it out or just performing words not mentioned in a recording session leave that out because usually people don't and then that's it with regards to the notification of works. So then you click on save. And then one for me will pop up there. It will just take some time for the system to notify. But in a nutshell, that's all the notification of works done with regards to, you can see over there it says queued. So it's going to be registered eventually. Um, please check again for your irswc code assignment for the new tracks so i think there may capasso may now be the one administrating your iswc code which is interesting i've never actually looked up into it i'll probably check out and um, get, make another video for it but that basically concludes how you go about notifying your song with the three organizations samro sampra and capasso if you want to know how many streams you need to make a thousand rand, watch this video.